Uh, hi there, my name is Eric Sondergaard. Uh, this video is a demonstration of a project I created essentially to mess around with Microsoft Azure, specifically its capabilities surrounding IoT. And for the uninitiated, IoT stands for Internet of Things. Uh, the repository for this project is hosted on GitHub and is linked in the description of this video. Uh, the project I've created is a simple web application that displays messages sent to Azure through the IoT Hub uh, from rudimentary simulated devices. The next step of this project would be to create and transmit configuration settings from the, to the devices, but today I'll just be demonstrating the sending, collection, and display of stored messages in Microsoft Azure. Um, this is the Azure portal, as we can see here. Uh, to the left, you'll see the resources we have set up. You can see here that we have an IoT Hub resource, which serves as the endpoint uh, for device to cloud and cloud to device communications. We have a storage account uh, where we will be storing the messages sent to the IoT Hub, and we have a web app service, which is where I've deployed the web application for this project. It is linked in the description and will be available until my free Azure credit runs out, which is hopefully not soon. Uh, our simulation devices, our simulated devices rather, are going to be garbage cans uh, that send messages with information about how full they are. Um, here we have a garbage can monitor class, which is a few properties related to its identity and its state of fullness. It also has a method uh, that sends a message to the IoT Hub resource containing information uh, about its identity, how full the can is, uh, and when the message was sent. The hub URI you see here uh, is uh, set in the app.config file, and it's a property that we get from the Azure IoT Hub resource. This is our garbage can monitor simulator, uh, which is a very rudimentary imp uh, imitation of a garbage can in use. You can see that we spin up a few garbage can resource monitor objects here, uh, create their identities in the IoT Hub, or retrieve our, their identities if they, are, if they already exist. Uh, then we start filling them up. Uh, if you will. All that happens here is that at a configured interval we fill up the can by a random amount and send a message with its status. If it's full we send a message saying so uh, and the next time we interact with it we'll empty the can setting its fullness to zero and then send a message. Uh, the event processor. Now we now what do we do with those messages after they're sent? This is uh, this class is an event processor that reads messages sent to the IoT Hub and stores them in our storage resource as blob, block blob objects. Say that 10 times fast. I won't go into depth on how this class uh, does this, but you can read more about it in the Microsoft tutorial that I linked in the description. All right, now let's send some messages. Uh, I just brought up uh, my event processor here. Um, I know it's a big wall of text right now, but it's been already processing some data. Um, now we're just gonna send it some more. Um, so we'll start up our garbage can simulator. And it can, you can see here that it's sending some data. So it'll send it, I think I have it configured every five seconds. Um, so it sends these messages to the IoT Hub and then they get processed by the event processor and uh, stored into the block blob objects that we spoke about before. So we're just gonna let that run for a little bit longer and get a, some more data in there. Um, you can see here and here that the uh, fullness is sort of being filled up random. There's one that got emptied. I know it's a bit hard to read, so I apologize. Uh, so we'll just stop those. Then we'll go over to our Azure dashboard. We'll take a look at our IoT Hub. As you can see, we've had some bit of a spike in activity. Uh, those were the messages we just sent. Um, we have six devices connected. Um, we can go now into our storage account and see that we have done some saving and whatnot here. Um, we can go take a look at our block blob objects. This is where the data is stored. So now we go over to the web app. Um, I uh, have to excuse the sort of default uh, vanilla ASP.NET uh, uh, content, uh, but we'll go over to the analyze page. And what this page does is, basically, it just reads the uh, contents of the block blobs, deserializes them, and then uh, displays them on the web page over here. So as you can see, uh, we have it sorted just 
by uh, the time it was sent, so you can see they send every five seconds or just about every five seconds. Um, so if it's not full, we display OK. Uh, if we just emptied it and the fullness is zero, it's empty. And if it's at 100% full, uh, it's full, clearly. So this is all the data that we've sent <coughs> Excuse me, back and forth. Um, we can now look at each individual device. Um, so these are all the messages for the garbage can monitor number zero. Um, you get the idea. Uh, so anyways, that's it for now. Um, the objective is, of this project was to sort of just get things talking to each other through the Azure cloud um, using the IoT hub. Um, and so far we've got the device to cloud messages working. Um, as I said before, the next step for this project will be sending the cloud to device messages um, using an Azure uh, job host to simulate firmware updates of sorts. Essentially we'll just be you know, setting sort of a threshold for the uh, fullness of a garbage can and um, some sort of messaging interval, um, just uh, updating some settings on our simulators. Uh, that'll definitely require some beefing up of the device simulation. Um, but anyways, I will link the uh, Microsoft tutorials that I completed while uh, researching this project in the description below. Um, this is a fun thing to look into over the weekend, um, as I did. Uh, and I hope you found the video interesting, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks very much.